Hey everyone, this is WaywardWin911. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Mega Man X2. Let us proceed to X Hunter Stage 3. And, yeah. So... Uh, let's see. Whoa, 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 no, 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 I can't have you on me, sir. Thank you for dying. Everything's rolling, so... Let's... Let's do this. Oh, I don't need that, but event eventually we will need something similar. Just not now. Now! <laughs> Didn't take too long. But uh, let's see, you just wanna... Make your way up like this. And yeah. At this point, you can abandon the thing. Because you can easily just pull out your crystal crystal ability. And use this to make your ascent. Anyway, now we're being presented with two paths. Now we're going to want to take the upper path. For reasons, I will show you. Um, hopefully this doesn't take too long, but yeah. You know, I really have no control over this, so yeah. Anyway, what we're gonna want to do here, oh so skillfully, is air dash, and then use the speed burner to get to that heart tank. Well, one up, excuse me. So, huh, easier than I thought. Anyway, I'm going to use a sub-tank. Do I need to? Yeah. I'm... Now, you may have thought that that was a complete waste, but it's not. Because if we, sk if we slide down here, we'll eventually encounter a hole in the wall. And this will lead us to a capsule! Wow! You are so cool! I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! I really can't say that in a Dr. Light voice. <laughs> Step inside for a special surprise. I think that's a reference to Wayne's World? I don't know. But anyway, we're getting our super uber move of the game. Show you can! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is the one hit kill move of the game, so. You do it by doing the normal sure you can motion. If I could get it right. Yeah, there we go. So that's neato. Anyway, we're gonna wanna pull out our crystal ability. So that we can traverse this. And. Ah! And now we're at our boss fight. So, this, as you may have guessed by ruling out, ag we're fighting against Agile, but what? What the crap? So what you're gonna wanna do is repeatedly shoot the, mag the magnet mine and then make it aim upward. Whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, that's the tactic you're gonna want to be using. Overall, this guy's not too much of a problem. You can, you can ignore all his moves because they're not gonna do enough damage to you to kill you in time. No, this cannot be. Master, avenge me! Master? Oh, crap. We're in for a surprise, aren't we? Who's this master? Better not be frickin' Sigma. Oh, crap, I just jinxed it, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna save here, even though there's no point to saving because... 
it all it saves is the password, and the password obviously does not save end game. But anyway. We can still go in here. Huh. You'd think that now that the, all the X Hunters are gone, I wouldn't be able to go in here, but whatever. What's this? This is the music from the cutscene. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, what the hell happened to this capsule? Anyway, doesn't matter. Now we are in the boss rush room. So, time to take on these guys with their weaknesses. Now there are four energy pellets, small energy pellets, up here so that you can refill your health or your sub tanks after every match. Anyway, who are we fighting here? This would be Morph Moth. So, let's equip our Speed Burner. And... Onerate this guy. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Ow. Dang it. <laughs> so, you know, it is going well if I didn't have to fight seven other of these guys. Get down. No, how dare you attack me from off screen. Now you get to die. Uh, die. Explode in the... Blue explosions. You're getting blue shelled. Let's say that. Blue shell. Anyway, this brings us back down here. Whoa. Don't want to be going into any of these capsules yet. Um, let's refill our health. And take on our next person. Admittedly, that's... Not enough health to be justified, but whatever. Anyway, let's equip ourselves a Sonic Slicer. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It looks like a Sonic Boom. See, in this series, we've had Hadouken, Shoryuken, this is Sonic Boom. Anyway, he's just charging up his... Let's call it an overdrive attack. Whoa, that's... That's his weapon I'm use, trying to use against him. Stupid me. And there we go. <laughs> uh, he split in half before dying. But, oh, I'm at three bars of health. It's not good. Whoa. <laughs> I thought I had a double jump for a second. What's wrong with me? But anyway, let's get ourselves some health and be on our way to our next fight. Against Bubble Crab. So let's equip this spinning wheel. I think that's what it's called. Whoa. Ow. What? Oh, pff. oops. I forgot that there were spikes up there. Anyway, let's try that again with less fail. As you can see, I have three lives, so shouldn't be a problem. 
Uh, don't jump over it. No, uh, I told you not to jump over it. Come on. So yeah, make sure you're not... I've noticed that it's safer to use your air dash rather than your dash jump. There we go. <laughs> you have to admit, if, you, if you're any sort of Mega Man X fan, You'll be watching Clement's playthroughs if you want to watch a Let's Play of Mega Man X. So, watching an actual boss rush, for once, instead of having a sped up boss rush and music, can get sort of dull. I mean, even playing it's getting dull. <laughs> and that's not a good sign. Oh, Flame Stag. Alright. Time to make a joke out of this guy. As soon as he lands. Wasn't that simple? <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, let's get ourselves some health items. If I could frickin' get up here. And let's see who we're going to take on next. Um, Magna Centipede. Alright. Let's see if I can pull this off. Alright, come on. Stop appearing nowhere. So what you're going to want to do is, whenever he appears on the ceiling, shoot the opposite direction. When he appears on the floor, shoot his direction. And make sure you're in the middle, by the way. It's a bit dull, but hey, it's easier than what I was doing. <laughs> I do not recommend trying to fight this guy with the X-Buster. Always. Always use the Silk Shot. Against this- against this mofo. Unlike me. But then again, I'm correcting my mistakes right now by doing it the right way. Yeah! Out of commentary, commentary. Don't you just love it? I mean, seriously, I've been talking over this game for a good two, two and a half hours before this part started, so, yeah. It gets a bit weird after a while, trying to think of things to say. I mean, of course, I'm fine recording over, like, two hours in a row if there's someone else in the room recording with me. But, alas, such is not the case. I am doing this alone. That's how it is. And I swear to God, when when Crystal Snail... When Crystal Snail... When... Uh, I can't talk. When Crystal Snail... Freaking... Freaking drops down, it looks like... <laughs> it looks like... It looks like the. It sounds like the. It sounds like he. Sounds like the dropping sound of Mario. So anyway, <laughs> there's a boss fight happening, and this is how you do it. Yeah. 
It's not too hard. Really. Wow. And there we go. <laughs> Dullest fight ever. You know, aside from Wheelgator, who we'll probably be taking on next. I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's interesting. More interesting than I could ever ramble on with my normal voice. Meanwhile, in the tool shed. No. <laughs> Alright, so. We can head up here and face Wheelgator, I bet. No. You know, how much do you want to. Yeah, Wheelgator is the last one. Or I just derped and I already beat him, but I'm being an idiot about it. But anyway, crystal, ow, that did not work too well by trying at that time. Anyway, this appears to be working pretty well against Overdrive Ostrich here. As you can see, the, the effects are quite effective. Department of Redundancy Department. But, what can I say? Come on. Taking way too much damage here. Yeah, that's right. Die. Blow up. You deserve it. Alright, let's just collect our good ol' health, and then take on Wheelgator. So, since we know that this is Wheelgator, we might as well put on Wire Sponge's Strike Chain. Why is my... God damn it. <laughs> anyway, this battle's gonna take a long time. Just a warning. Probably gonna have to split the commentary in two, just because of this battle. Come on. No! 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 You were supposed to stay up- stay above water. Hurry up! <laughs> Get up here! Thank you. Kill me and die. Actually, that makes no sense whatsoever. But regardless. Come on. Alright, we're doing good so far. We're doing well, excuse me. <laughs> That's bad grammar. I'm a grammar Nazi. Whoa, no, 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 I'm using your weakness on you. Why are you doing that move? Ah. So, yeah, I want to be careful of that, of those spikes. I'm not sure if they're one-hit kill or not, but they don't look like they should be, but you never know. This game could decide to be a total and complete jerk. I messed up the total there. My speaking is weird. Oh, what do I care? No one's watching this video at this point. They probably already skipped the boss rush. Yeah, I'm gonna assume you've all skipped the, the boss rush. What, which is right now. So, yeah. Disregard this if you've been watching this entire part. Thing. Yeah, guys. Don't skip. Watch the entire thing. Alright. <laughs> um. 
What? What's my Sigma voice? Um. It's been a while, X Mega Man X. What? Sigma? It seems that the X Hunters have failed. But don't worry. I have arranged for some new toys for you to play with. <laughs> that laugh adds atmosphere. Apparently. Alright, anyway. Let's save this and I'm gonna try and... Actually, no. So... Now we're gonna have to go back to Sigma. We gotta, gotta beat this guy again. Let's go. And what the hell? This is Magna Centipede stage. Oh wait a minute. This is where they were in the cutscenes. Oh right. Oh <laughs> uh, that explains a lot actually. It explains why Magna Centipede's so freaking OP. Huh. I wonder. If you were only to go in now, would you be able to get the power from up there? Ooh, extra life. Cool. But anyway, it's just the same old stuff. Been through a lot of it because of the amount of game overs I've had to endure while fighting Magna Centipede with the X Buster. And anyway, here we are. And. Sigma! We're gonna get you and. Zero? Oh my god, Zero! Look who I found wandering around, Mega Man. I'm not Mega Man. My friend here my friend here has a small problem with you. It seems that you let him die, and he's not too happy about that. Now, I think it's time he repays the favor. What? No! No! Zero! What are you doing? So yes, folks, we have to fight Zero. Now, I could use his weakness, which, by the way, is Speed Burner, but I want this to be epic. So, yeah, no Speed Burner. I will, however, Giga Crush! Does absolutely nothing. <laughs> So, what can I say about this fight? Just never slow down. And make sure you are shooting past his guard. Ah! X, you're shooting the wrong way! What? No! Ah, crap. Screw it! <laughs> there we go. Okay, we spared zero. Zero! Do you remember me? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry to cause you so much trouble. X, need to go after Sigma. I'll try and find the main computer. Try and destroy the main computer, X. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Zero. I don't have time to put you back together. Again. Stupid text. I'll be okay. Get going, X! Here it is, X. Sigma lies just... Below. 
<laughs> just say below. Anyway, while Zero destroys the main computer, we're gonna go face off with Sigma. Now, I don't remember what his weakness is. Boo hoo. But regardless. Oh my god, blue background. Oh. <laughs> you are merely a bothersome insect, Mega Man X. It is about time that I crushed you beneath my heel. So I totally changed Sigma's voice from X1. And oh, he's using Electric Spark. <laughs> Ow. Not doing so well. Thankfully, Sigma doesn't do that much damage. Whoa, whoa, that, that's a... Bouncing. Bouncerama. Ow! Another Bouncerama. Anyway, is it just me or is Sigma to have low defense? And stop slicing my s shots! Ah! Bouncerama! Whoa! Uh, he's doing something! Ow. And oh, we beat Sigma! Woo! Now let me guess, he's gonna have another form, he's gonna be in another frickin' giant robot man suit, and I'm gonna have to frickin' destroy that, and... What? Ah, C4 chip! <laughs> yes, folks, the final, the final boss is C4 chip Sigma. I'm gonna go on a hunch and say that his weakness is... the bubble? Now this form isn't really that bad because... as you can s as you can see... As you can see, we're getting a lot of... We're getting a lot of grunts being sent out. So anyway... His weakness is the strike chain, so you're gonna want to pull that out. And as you can see, he's changing color. That's that's your sign that he's losing health. I literally have nothing else to say on his health other than that. Just, I imagine he has the normal amount of health that a Mega Man X final boss would. But yeah, actually I'm going to save my sub-tank until I'm actually dying. Because I'm not dying anymore because of that! Yeah, this this form's easy. Well, what, do you, what can you expect? They're trying to show off something that wasn't really that grand to begin with. C4 Chip Sigma, you're going down. And there we go! Sigma, you are toast! Take that, C4 chip. And then Sigma's like, ah, nom, 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 Self destructing his fortress. Mega Man X, I have lost to you again. Each defeat only makes me stronger. And serves to bring you closer to your ultimate doom. Um, Sigma, you're not a Saiyan. But, something is not right. I... I don't quite understand. Why did Zero... He is last of Doctor's creations. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, that's just hinting at the fact that Zero was made by Dr. Wily, as if, as if no one knew that already. But yeah! 
that's Russ running from away out of the castle and a starry night. Gotta love how it's just encased in that little rectangle <laughs> instead of full screen, but what can you do? Suddenly, zero and X. S look over the horizon, joined by his friend Zero. Mega Man X gazes over the sea. Long gap. Sigma has once again been destroyed, but X wonders if the fighting will truly end. It's not gonna end for another few games, X. A lot of games. Was Dr. Light's dream of a world in which reploids and humans live together in peace merely a dream? Long freaking gap. I keep complaining about this. The price of peace is often high, X thinks to himself. Was that really worth a pause? Who? Or what must be sacrificed for it to become a reality? I realize I'm taking away from the atmosphere by talking in between these gaps, but whatever. And when the time comes, will he be able to do it? The future holds the answers. Or... 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 Or? Nope, that's, that music sounds too conclusive. No, tell us or. 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 No, no. No, dang it. So yeah, folks, that was Mega Man X2. It's been a lot of fun. Even though I've been recording for... Even though this is all in one straight thing. One straight recording session. So, yeah. Crap. I don't know if you guys think it's any good, but, you know, this game, not the best Mega Man X game, definitely not one of my favorites, but, you know, it's still Mega Man X caliber. I def- it's- it's- if I were to rank the X games, this would be equal to X3, the sequel to this game, which will- which we will be taking on next. Next, as in whenever the hell I feel like doing it, but, Point is, I'm doing the entire X series with live commentary. I mean, well, as much of it as I can do. You never know. Maybe I could record the the other the Game Boy Color games using an emulator, but yeah. Anyway, look at these stats. These stats are completely meaningless because we don't know what the what the parameter RP is. Uh, is parameter the word? Um, I don't know. But anyway. So yeah, folks. Those were all the bosses. I was able to get in all the bosses without editing. Yeah, so Violin's normal fight is really just the same thing as it is in the X Fortress, so you're not missing out on much. You can watch, you go watch Clement's playthrough if you want to see it, but, you know, you probably already have. But anyway, look, Me Zero and, Me and X have an unknown power or speed. Of course, have to leave the main characters ambiguous. But anyway, thanks for playing, presented by Capcom. So, we'll end this off here. This has been Where Would Win 911. If you like this episode of Let's Play Mega Man X2, rate, comment, subscribe. See you later, thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.